Toll statement is best time to buy and sell stock. Lead code 121. This is a very easy problem, but this is a very frequently asked question. 715364 for this output is 5. Why? 6 and 1. Okay. So 1 is minimum. 6 is the uh, price that someone can sell for and the maximum profit that can be made is 5. 7 cannot be taken for consideration because 7 is which occurred before the minimum price. Okay, So we have to look for a number which is after the minimum price Okay, and then we have to deduct that and we have to find the max profit. Okay, So what we will do? We will look at all the values. We will look at each number that we see from the array and we will check if it is minimum. If it is minimum then we will update the minimum value and if it is not minimum then we will deduct the minimum value from the current value and see are we making the max profit and if we are making the max profit then we will update that max profit value and finally after the for loop we will have the max profit with us and we will return that. So let me do that for int price in prices okay start the for loop good now I will also take a mean value int mean integer dot max value initialize with it initialize with a big number int max profit equal to 0 okay fine now we'll check if the current price which is price is less than minimum if it is then mean is our current price okay else if I'll check current price minus minimum is greater than the max profit okay max profit initially it will be zero and then we'll compare the compare with max profit and then we'll update the max profit with price minus Finally, return max profit. Let's try on this. So, first is 7. 7 is less than minimum because minimum is max value. So, mean is now 7. We have set the minimum price. So, we will not go to this else if loop. We will go to the next number, we will see the next number 1, now 1, 1 is less than minimum, yes, because mean was 7, so minimum is now 1, okay, we will not enter here also, okay, now go up again, 5, 5 is less than minimum, no, 5 is not less than 1, so we will come here, and 5 minus minimum, 5 minus minimum is 4, 4 is greater than max profit, yes, max profit was until now 0 we had, okay. So max profit is now we have made 4 ok now go up again 3 current price is 3 3 is less than minimum no because 1 is still minimum and now 3 minus minimum 3 minus 1 is 2 and 2 is max greater than max profit max profit was 4 so it is not greater than max profit so still minimum is 1 and max profit we have made so far is 4 now 6 look at 6 6 is less than minimum no 6 minus minimum which is 5 5 is greater than max profit 4 yes so our max profit will become now 5 we are at 6 now go up again 4 4 is less than minimum no and 4 minus minimum which is 3 3 is greater than max profit no so finally we return max profit okay which is fine so 5 is our max profit okay let's see this 7 6 4 3 1 again this is another example. 
for loop starts price is 7 7 less than minimum yes so mean is 7 else if go up again 6 6 is less than minimum yes so mean is 7 we will not go inside else if else if now go up again 4 4 is less than minimum yes so we will update 4 ok go up again 3 is less than minimum yes so we will update this 3 1 is less than minimum yes so we will update 1 ok and max profit is still 0 yeah you see this so uh, this is actually all the numbers are in decreasing order so we never found a condition where we could enter to this lc block okay all the numbers are in decreasing order then definitely our max profit will be zero right good now let's submit thanks guys thanks for watching see you next time